guys, welcome back to the channel. Nothing like a science day. Uh, one thing I've realised about this channel is if I want anything ever to go wrong, all I've got to do is point a camera at it and turn it on, or any sort of recording device, and it'll go pear shaped. And I've been out on the range and I've been shooting all morning to uh, doing a little experiment with you, and the footage is gone. Uh, camera has been a uh, not very nice, it's been nasty. Anyway, what I've done is, I've taken this little HW35 out, I've cronied it at the muzzle, I've cronied it at 30 metres, 40 metres and 50 metres. I've then shot seven round groups at each of those ranges. I've recorded the velocity and the foot poundage at each range. And I've also recorded the group sizes and the wind deflection. With this I've had wind coming over my uh, right shoulder going out to the left. So it's been a quarter of wind uh, from light to moderate with some strong gusts in between. I'll just run through the results really quick because I'm worried in case my camera decides to die yet again. At the muzzle, this HW35 was producing 577 foot per second with 14.5 grain uh, RWS super down. That equates to 10.7 foot pounds of energy. At 30 metres, it was producing 454 feet per second, which equates to 6.6 .6 foot pounds. At 40 metres, it was producing 431.3 feet per second, which equates to 5.9 foot pounds. And at 50 metres, it was producing 396.2 feet per second, which equates to 5.05 uh, 5.05 sorry feet uh, foot pounds. So as you can see. The gun has the power to dispatch humanely 8 to 50 metres. However, don't get all excited yet, There's, we've got to look at other factors. At 30 metres, it was producing a 10.2 millimetre group. These are seven round groups, guys. At 40 metres, it was producing an 18.9 millimetre group. And at 50 metres, a 26.2 millimetre group. For the US guys who still use an Imperial, about 25 mil is round about an inch. So we've got the accuracy, we've got the power. However, so one of Vinny's famous uh, little mock ups. I zeroed this indoors at 30 metres and I punched out the bullseye. As soon as I got out into the real world, 30 metres on a range with wind blowing, it gave me this sort of deflection. So where that black dot is and where the rounds were going, I had at 30 metres I had a 15 millimetre deflection. 40 metres I had a 55mm drop and a 40mm deflection. Rounds were landing here. At 50 metres, it dropped considerably. I had a 150mm uh, drop and a 65mm wind deflection. So if we follow these dots down from the centre lines, there, that's the horizontal centre line, that's the vertical. You can see how the wind was pushing my rounds off and also the drop involved. It's a big drop between 40 metres and 50 metres. In all, like I say, we're talking about from a 30 metre zero to a, a 50 metre shot, talking about a 6 inch drop or 150 mil. So where I'm going with this, guys, is even though it is group Grouping 
and had adequate power to dispatch quarry, would you, in windy weather, be in risk taking shots out to 50 metres? The difference between there and there is huge, guys. That is the difference between, at best, a clean miss, at worst, a terrible wound and shot, and you condemning an animal to a miserable death. So, my point is, Syria rifle at 30 or 25 keeps shots within that range, and even in a fairly strong breeze, you're not pushing off so far out that you're going to be one, missing your target, and two, you'll be still ensuring a clean kill. So, with that, guys, I'm going to sign off on this little one. Hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you next time.